Hello friends, we will straight away go into the topic. What is the diagnosis? The examiner will be surprised if you miss the diagnosis. In fact, it is quite possible to misdiagnose if you have not seen this condition before. Here you can see that the foot is in equinus. Equinus means a fixed plantar flexion deformity. The arch of the foot is high, which is called cavus. Forefoot foot is adducted and the heel is in varus. Now can you tell the what the diagnosis is? Yes, it is a talipus equinovarus deformity. I will show you the deformities. With respect to the ankle, foot is in plantar flexion. It is called a equinus deformity if it is fixed. The arch of the foot is high, which is called cavus. The forefoot is adducted. So is the hind foot with respect to the ankle. A fixed adduction deformity of the hind foot is called varus. Uh, this deformity is quite rightly called a club foot in general because of the resemblance with the golf club. That is, the foot resembles a club. Now we can go into the details of the club foot. It is the most common birth defect which is seen in 1 in 1000 live births. It is multifactorial in causation. Hence, a family history of 25% is seen in all patients and uh, it is 30% in case of twins. The risk in siblings, it is 5-10%. to 10 Always look for hip and spine deformities in patients with club foot. Hetiology can be summarized into a mnemonic, OMNI. O means osseous, M means muscular, N means neuropathic, I means idiopathic. Osseous cause is tibial hemimilia, muscular arthrogryphosis, neuropathic spina bifida and idiopathic it is congenital dilipus echinovirus deformity. CTEV is the most common cause of club foot. Associated conditions can be summarized into another mnemonic bilateral CDH. B means bifid spine, L means Larsen syndrome, C means CDH, D means dwarfism and H means hemimilia. Larsen syndrome is a rare genetic disorder with characteristic finding of ligamentous laxity, abnormal facial features and multiple joint dislocations. Deformities are cavus, forefoot adduction, heel varus and heel equinus. We have to remember the deformities in this order that is cave. C is cavus, A means adduction, B varus, E equinus. This has to be remembered in this order because of a particular and a very important reason which we will discuss later. We can quantify this deformity using a scoring system called Pirani score. It has called six points. Hind foot and mid foot are looked for. Hind foot we are looking for rigid equinus, emptiness of the heel and posterior crease. In the mid foot we are looking for the tailor lateral head coverage, medial crease and the lateral curvature. Here we can see an examiner quantifying the club foot using the Pirani score, looking for the rigidity of the echinus, emptiness of the heel, posterior crease, lateral border curvature, medial crease and the lateral head of the uh, talus. X-rays include lateral turco view and AP kites view. We are looking for the talocalcaneal angle. In the relationship between the talus and the calcaneus. Normal talocalcaneal angle is more than 40 degrees. If it is reduced, it suggests a club foot. The lateral view, when a forced dorsiflexion view is taken, we, we can see a parallelism between talus and calcaneum, which is typical of club foot. Here we can see that in the lateral view, which is forced dorsiflexion view, parallelism between the axis of the talus and the calcaneus. Here in the right x-ray, uh, the talocalcaneal ankle is decreased, which is again suggestive of club foot. The treatment of club foot is using the technique described by Ponsetti. Ponsetti is a Spanish orthopedic surgeon and his technique has got 90% success rate. We have to start the treatment at the seventh day of birth and it lasts for six to eight weeks, which include weekly casts. And the last cast will last for three weeks, which is done after tenotomy. 
can be used up to 10 years. The deformities has to be corrected in this order of cavus, adduction, varus, and echinus. The first, at first, the foot may look worse. At the end of the treatment, some residual echinus deformity is seen in 90% of the children. For, but for near normal activity, patients will need 15 degree of dorsiflexion. Hence, an acrylic uh, tenotomy is done under local anesthesia followed by casting for 3 weeks. For residual adduction, boot and bar arthrosis is given which is for 3 months. It is worn for night for 4 years. Feet are kept in external rotation of 70 degrees in the orthosis. Surgery is reserved for resistant club foot and for delayed presentation. Techniques can be enumerated as posterior medial soft tissue release and Achilles lengthening. Calcaneous slide for varus, medial open wedge, lateral column shortening, triple arthrodesis, and talectomy. Of this, most commonly used surgical technique is posterior modulus soft tissue release and Achilles lengthening. Complications are rigid pest planus due to overcorrection, residual cavus, avian talus, hypotrophic limb, dorsal bunion, intoying, pressure damage due to cost. Thank you.